We're in a new studio! Let's go! No, just kidding. This is... But this is my room. This is where I always edit. I'm in the same place. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Listen, there's some new Apple products to talk about. I can't believe I'm saying that. Four days, three days, seven seconds before the end of 2021. Even more Apple stores are closing. iOS 16 updates. We got lots of good stuff to talk about. As always, guys, a great show for you. So if you're excited for this one, you already know what to do. You should drop a like and hit the subscribe button. And if you don't do that, then I'm going to cry forever. And I don't want to cry, so let's just do it. First up, new episode of Genius Bar is out now, the last episode of the year, and maybe our last episode ever, because we got a little off the rails in this one, so check it out down below. All right, guys, so jumping into today's stories, I got a wheel, we got story one, two, three, or mystery is the star, um, and even I don't know what that means. So I was told something supposed to happen. Huh. All right, well. Maybe next time, I guess. All right, so jumping into story number one, Apple. Hold on, uh, guys. I, I I thought we were good. I thought we made it through the wheel. I'll be fine. I'm never spinning the wheel again. Okay, I'm gonna do this video before the next thing happens. So, story number one. You know how I told you the other day about how some Apple stores were closing, and I was like, I don't know, maybe more could close, and then everybody was like, ah, I think you're being a little sensational. Turns out that a lot are closing. So in the United States the other day, there were just about 10 closures, and now I think we're over 20 or 25. Apple's closed all their stores in New York City, and even the only 24-hour Apple store, the Fifth Avenue, a new cube. That's not even 24 hours right now. Oh, it feels like we're back in March of 2020 again. I don't like that feeling. I, we were so close. I thought we were out of this too. I mean, I really just feel like a little sad pandemic boy once again. Aww. Just a PSA, if you go to the Apple store, check before you go and be nice to the people there because they're probably very stressed out by this situation too. I know I would be. All right, moving on from that, want to cheer you guys up here. Next story is a little bit more upbeat. We are talking about car accidents. Woo! Yeah, this is a fun one. Guys, 2021 was a great year. <laughs> I promise there's a tie into Apple news here. It, it actually ties in directly to iOS 16. Remember, the only thing we've heard about iOS 16 so far is that it's not likely to be compatible with older iPhones like the iPhone 6S or the 6S Plus or even the iPhone SE. But today we have what may be our first feature that Apple is planning to bake into the update. And it actually is a pretty nice one. The Wall Street Journal put out a report actually a couple of months ago now talking about how Apple is already testing this feature with maybe even your iPhone where they are able to detect car crashes using the acceleration detected by your accelerometer in your phone and then maybe the ability later to call 911. So in short it reads like Apple's been silently collecting this data on iPhones for months or even years obviously anonymously just to detect when the phone moves or some random acceleration of a car crash is detected and then they're going to take this data and and build it into a feature that all of us can turn on. The feature being that it would automatically call 911 if we wouldn't tap a prompt or a confirmation on the screen if it believes a car crash was detected. This is something that OnStar, like actual vehicles, have had for many years, I think most of my life now. But also something, if I'm gonna both sides of this here, that Google has had on Pixel phones for a while as well. In fact, Max Weinbach, one of my boys, tweeted this out. You know, should I say something? Yes, Max, we know that Google's had it, okay, but this is okay, this is a win for us. Doesn't matter. Apple's a tortoise, not the hare. This feature is in development. And while I presume it's going to be an iOS 16, the Wall Street Journal doesn't actually say exactly when Apple's targeting it other than sometime in 2022. So it's possible that it could come as an update to iOS 15, like 15.3 or even 15.4. But this sounds like a pretty big deal. And it's something that I could see Apple saving for the bigger fall release of iOS 16. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. I find it really fascinating. And uh, you know, we get one step closer to, to being equal to Android. Just kidding. We've been better than Android for years and no one will tell me different. What do you guys think though? Would this be a feature that you care about? Would you want 911 to be automatically called if you got into a car accident? I mean, I, I can't speak for you, but I will speak on, on half of the human race. Yeah, I think I'd like that feature. And with 2021 coming to a close, and by that I mean we got about three days left in this bitch. 
I wasn't expecting Apple to drop anything new. I mean, it, until February, March, or sometime later. But with the start of the Japanese New Year, Apple has had different plans. Just the other day, Apple has dropped new limited edition versions of AirTags and Beats Studio Buds. So two special edition products that guess what are only available in Japan. And this is the precise moment where he messed up because he was about to say that both these products are coming out because of the Japanese New Year, but that's not right actually. So there's a Lunar New Year, which people celebrate in many Asian countries such as China, and then specifically the Japanese New Year. And one of these products is for the Japanese New Year, the other is for the Lunar New Year. Let's continue. They're both really cool, and first up is the new special edition AirTag. There is a custom engraving on here, and because it's the year of the tiger, there is just this adorable little tiger on here, and I want him to be my child. His little paw be like, his little head be like, What's it? Look at this. Look at this side by side. Who's the air tag now? <sighs> Let me wipe my tears away. It's just beautiful. That's what I needed to end my 2021. Thank you, Apple, for this release. Very cool. Obviously, no special features here, anything crazy, but still very, very cool. And it's an Apple channel. I got to tell you guys about all the latest products, no matter how niche they are. Really cool commemorative release in Japan, but to me, the smaller and less stunning of the two. It's cute, right? My heart did implode four times, but I'm talking about the Beat Studio Buds. That's what really caught my eye. Well, the commemorative air tag is to sell celebrate the year of the tiger for the Japanese New Year, the Apple Beats Studio Buds have a new colorway for the Lunar New Year and you can buy them in China. These are available in another all new limited edition colorway with tiger scratch marks in the front on a gold lining with a red paint around all of the buds and there's even the scratch marks on the actual Beats Studio Buds. These are really top tier. Listen, I don't even like the Beats Studio Buds, but these are incredibly cool. So if you're wondering why all of this is, one, it's because of the Japanese New Year again, but two, it's because Apple does this from time to time. They will release new colorways or special edition products that are only on sale for a limited time in certain markets to commemorate certain things. And they do this all around the world. There's the shopping event right now in Japan that has these new designs. There's a Chinese New Year that they traditionally celebrate. And in the United States, we had the Black Unity edition of the Apple Watch band and the actual Apple Watch Series 6. I think in February it came out of this year. So they do this all around the world, and I think it's really Though. If you live in Japan, I believe the AirTags are available right now, and then the Beat Studio Buds drop on January 1st. So I guess technically that comes out in 2022, but it's to celebrate the new year. Anyway, guys, wanted to let you know that we, we got some new products before the end of the year. I can't believe it. And uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm ready for some new stuff in 2022 though, because this stuff is cool, but like I want more. So thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. I don't know if I'll talk to you before the end of the new year. Maybe I, I will. Maybe I'll be back, but maybe I won't be. Maybe I'll see you in 2022. I'll see you next year. Squirt. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.